Okay. Okay. Uh, August 10, 2015. This educational video is to show how we treat a two-month-old rabbit with scabies. The scabies is a skin mite, and uh, the best treatment is actually ivermectin, one injection, and uh, normally two injections two weeks apart. But sometimes I find one injection will do subcutaneous. Now, unfortunately, this rabbit is too young, so so it's too young, so I won't give injection in case it dies because the liver, liver is still immature. This is two months old. Now, as you can see, you can see the nose, crusty nose, yeah, crusty nose, a rough, the paws definitely crusty, four paws there, eh? crusty, crusty paws, huh? You can see, yeah? then the eyes, uh, the eyes is here, the eyelids, crusty, then uh, this, this uh, eyelid also, a bit crusty here, then uh, finally, the ear, uh, edges of the ear is crusty, it's called, it's very crusty, in fact, you can see that uh, the, the, the heart lumps, yeah, you can see the hair comes out. So all these are scabby mites burrowing under the skin and uh, multiplying and reproducing. Uh, the scabies mite loves the extremities because it's cooler. That's why it goes for the ears, the nose, the paws. And uh, if, the, if the rabbit is very weak, resistance very poor, it can go, go all over the body and go the whole skin also. But, uh, but it prefers the, the extremities huh? because it's cooler. Yeah. So it likes cooler body temperatures. So now I will demonstrate how I'm, I'm going to uh, wash the scabies away with an insecticide. Now this is the first of several washings. Now everything must be prepared. Okay, the cotton buds, the eye ointment, the facial cotton, the insecticide and the water to rinse off after after you apply the insecticide otherwise uh, the rabbit will die from the toxicity now so I'll start first with putting eye ointment to protect the eyes I put eye ointment to protect the eyes just in case just in case the insecticide goes to the eyes because I'm treating the eyelid so I put one centimeter of eye ointment. You can ah, uh, very good. One centimeter of eye ointment. So this is to protect the eyes when I do the eyes. So now I will start first. You're doing the eyes, huh? Now what I do is I dip this cotton bud into this insecticide. Let me just wash. Now I close the eyelid. I close the eyelids and then I apply the insecticide on top where the crustiness is. Huh? Now after that I quickly rinse it off. Yeah. It's, it may be quite painful. So I cover the eyes and then I will rinse off the insecticide first. Rinse it off here. Yeah. This is the first application. Normally I do it three days. So it rinse off the insecticide. Now I do the other eye. The other eye. Same thing again. I already given the eye ointment, then I cover the eyelids. Then I dip okay the insecticide. Cover the eyelids. I just apply on those areas there, this part. and also below oh, it may be quite painful after that I just use the facial cotton again to clear the rinse off huh? the insecticide make sure that uh, it's done thoroughly so one more time so always start with the eyes first. 
if you can. Uh, okay. Now, same thing with this side, clean up again. Clear the insecticide now. As much water as you can. Okay, so it's done. It's finished this one. So now I will start with the nose. Nose, I will use this facial cotton, which I dip into the insecticide here. I dip in just sufficient amount. Then I just apply under the nose. Now the, the mites are not on the surface, they are deep in, under the skin. So obviously you need to soak it in here in a sense, soak in the insecticide. Under the skin. Okay, then use, use another facial cotton to, to wipe it off first. Now you won't see anything till about five days later, four to five days. The crust will fall off when the scabby mites die. Now I rinse off with plain water. Okay, 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 cool. okay. So I finish this one. So now what, what I do is, um, as for the pores, huh? pores I will dip it in dip the, the pores in because it's too too much to too much to uh, wash now the best is of course hold by the scrub of the neck we do the leg first then I dip it in so that the mites are in contact with the insecticide okay for about a minute these two legs and the front legs hold the straw of the neck that's how you handle rabbits huh? hold the straw of the neck dip in this one also dip in okay so we'll wait a while now the the ears ear edges now okay ear edges ear edges what I do is uh, normally I will just Cover up the, the the ear canal with a piece of cotton, so that uh, so that the insecticide won't drop in into the ear canal. Okay, that's how I do. Uh, I sort of uh, sort of uh, protect the ear canal, yeah, from being uh, flooded with the insecticide so after that I'll take it out now normally the scabby mites don't go inside but there's another ear mite which goes in uh, there's a sorotis different type of species uh. now so this side I do then this side this year I do the same thing I do the same thing sort of uh, prevent the insecticide from going in okay now obviously you shouldn't push until you can't get it out okay so it's done now for the ear ear washing obviously it's best if you can dip it in but uh, this might be a bit tough but uh, if you can if you can you dip the the ears direct in contact with the insecticide now to do that, I might have to tilt the, the bow a bit. Okay, I'll hold the scrub to the neck. Now, it's easier not to wear gloves, so I just use my hands. Now, this is to uh, to make sure that it's contacted all the insecticide. Now it's a bit tough, I know. The other way just to put the thing in and uh, okay, I soak it in. Same thing here. You gotta soak entirely, otherwise part of the mites will not be killed. So this is inside this is inside the side deep 
in the sense that in the ship, last time in the old days where they dig, they, they dig the ship, they put the ship through the insecticide dip, yeah. So you can see it's almost all, all, uh, all in contact with insecticide now. So I rub it in, I rub it in so that the insecticide go, goes under the skin or go under the mites. The, all these crustiness you can see, those are the areas where the mites are, the scabby mites there, you can see, you can see the crustiness. So I rub it in. Now sometimes you might need three, three, uh, three times, uh, three days, I mean. So, I mean one more time, on the pause again. Now, it might be quite painful. Okay, okay. So now I rinse off. Rinse off because uh okay. you see, so the thing is that I just rinse off with clean water, okay. Now wait, we just go first. Now the rinse off the front also. Because of the of the infection uh, infestation the, the skin of course is is painful when you apply the insecticide but uh, there's no other way because injection will kill the may kill the rabbit. So now I just rinse off all the insecticide slowly, step by step. Huh? Mm. Okay. Now the nose, huh? The nose. The nose part. I just use a facial cotton. The rinse off the insecticide. Sometimes one washing will do, but uh, we will see how one washing will do and the mice will drop off yeah. Now the, the left, the remaining parts are the ears. Huh? I haven't done the ears yet. So I will try to hold the rabbit properly and rinse off the insecticide from the ears. Okay, hold firmly, hold firmly and uh, Definitely uh, uh, try to rinse off as much as I can. The insecticide. You can see now that uh, I have to take out the cotton buds. Then after that, I will dry, towel dry the rabbit. Make sure the cotton bud is taken out first. And uh, okay. So basically, I put it in here first, and then I towel dry it. Okay, finish. End of cleaning.